Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hey, how you doing, my young brother? What's good with you? What's going on? What's your name? Come here, Reggie. I'm going to show you something. You said you like the Avengers. You like the Avengers? We're gonna show you some real superheroes in the Bible, but I got a question for you right now, right? Because how old are you? You're 13 years old, so you're a teenager, right? My question for you is, what is your, your, your ethnicity, your nationality? Where do you see yourself on this sign right here? Who, who are you? Who are you, Reggie? Where would you be on that sign? Because on the, on the uh, left-hand side, let me show you real quick, right? On the left-hand side, that's what God calls us, right? And on the right-hand side is what is what our oppressors call us, through us being colonized, us. You ever heard of the transatlantic slave trade? Right? During the transatlantic slave trade, they gave us names like American Black, West Indian, Haitian. Would you identify as any of those things? No? Would you call yourself black today in America? What would you call yourself? A human being? Your ethnicity? What nationality are you? Because you got some people that will call themselves white or Caucasian. You got some people that will call themselves Asian. You got some people that will call themselves Arab. Where would you fit in, in the category in the world today, Reggie? Who would you call yourself? You too, my brother. Who, who would you say you are? Big J, Big J. Big J. You don't know. We're going to show you today. What would you say your nationality is? Is your son right here? What, what would you say your nationality is today? Because you see us, we got the Bible open right now, right? And we got a lot of pictures up here. But what we're going over is not religion. It's going into your nationality, your ethnicity. Who would you say your ethnicity is? Reggie don't know. You're from Earth? If you had to put on a job application, would you put I'm from Earth on a job application? You, you wouldn't receive that job. I'm going to tell you straight, I, I, man. I did get a job. You, you got a job. I'm saying hypothetically. None of us none of us go around and, and call our ethnicity earth, earthlings. That's not. Because this is a very large planet. It's a huge planet. A na ethnicity, a nationality is who you truly are, right? So we're going to get it. Let's go to Romans 8 and verse 16. That's what we're out here to bring. What was your name? One more time. Big J. That's what they call you. Big J. I'm Ezekiel. And this is Reggie. So Reggie doesn't know Isaiah 1 and 3. And, and you obviously, you don't know either because you said you're from Earth. All the other nations know exactly who they're from. You can walk up to a white man, a Caucasian man, and he'll tell you, well, I'm Caucasian. I'm from the Caucasus uh, Mountains, Georgia, Russia. You can walk up to a Chinese man and say, hey, my, hey, Chinese man, where are you from? And he'll say, I'm from, not only will he say he's from China, he'll tell you the exact providence within China where he's from. You can walk up to an Arab man 
and he could and, and ask him the same question. Hey, a rap man, where are you from? And he'll tell you, he'll give you a pinpoint, a nation, a nation where he's from. That's the root word of nationality, nation. There are many nations within the earth. What nation of people do you come from? That's the question I'm asking you. It's a simple question. Who would you say? What nationality are you? I'm not talking about a continent. Let's get it. Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah 1 and 3. Don't walk off. Don't walk off. Don't be silly. I'm going to explain it to you through the scriptures, right? Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox know of his owner. And so it said an ox, a dumb animal, right? An ox knows his owner, right? Keep reading. And the ass his master's crib. Like a donkey. You take a donkey from his crib, you, you, you lead him down the road three, four miles, he's going to know exactly how to come back home, right? Read, keep reading. But Israel does not know. We're here to tell you, Big J and Reggie, that you're not in, your, your nationality is an Israelite, more than likely. Right? It said that the Israelites today in 2020, we would not know. We would have no clue on who we are in the last days. That's what we're bringing out to you, who you are, right? Keep reading. My people do not consider. Because a lot of us, we don't even consider these things. We don't throw it down on the table. But like the correlation I was making to the other nations, the other nations know, not only do they know who they are, they know who we are. They walk by and they laugh at us. They say, how is God's people, such a mighty people, down low? And they don't even know who they are. We was bringing it out earlier. On the front of your flyer, it says the truth about slavery. Have you ever seen a movie, 12 Years a Slave, the Django? Maybe they used to play, remember they used to play The Roots all the time back in the day? Not The Roots, Roots, the movie Roots. They used to play it back in the day all the time. And they would always show us how we came over here. They would always have depictions of us being in the slavery. You said that we're all Africans. A lot of us, we believe that we're Africans, but we're not. We're not, we're the Israelites. When you look at the, the nation of Israel, it's, it's in Africa. It's in the northeastern part of out. You're shaking your head and walking off. You're shaking your head and walking off, right? Let's get, huh? Come here, come, come. Let's, you're talking to a, a history professor. All right. So come here, enlighten me, my brother. Come, prove, prove, prove. All right. So look, we. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go straight to it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Because where is Egypt? Egypt is in Africa. So a lot of us, we have the misconception again that we're African. My question on the table for you, Big J, is which part of Africa are we from? You ever heard that, my sister, walking by? You ever heard that, that we're from Africa? You ever heard people say that? Come here, let me show you something real quick, real quick, real quick. Because I ask many people, come around, come over here, come over here. Look at this sign right here. The same question I laid out for this young brother here, for an older brother, right? I, I ask the question, what is your nationality? Who would you say? What's your name? What? Almari. Almari. What would you say your nationality is? Come, come under the, the, the tarp right here. We don't want y'all to get wet. What would you say? You don't know, huh? You, you don't know. See, you, can, you can keep it real. You can keep it real. A lot of us don't know. I know where my people are from. Where's your people from? Jamaica and Cuba, right? Who came, who came up with those with those terms? West, West Indian, right? Who came up with the term West Indian? Our colonizers, Europeans. What God calls us is the Israelites. We're proving to you that you're an Israelite. We're going to go back to Deuteronomy 28, uh, 68. And then we're going to touch on some curses, some, uh, some laws. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It said that we were going to Egypt, slavery again with ships. How did we come over here to this nation? How did our people come over here? Right, keep reading. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. It said, what happened when we came off those ships, my sister? What did they do to us? Did they, did they give us a, a Roth IRA? 
did, did they did they give us any type of, of benefits or compensation? They, you said slavery, right? What would you say, Reggie? You're 13, you know, you of age. What did they do to us when we came over, over the, off them slave ships? What did they do to us? They whooped us, right? They had us in hard bondage chattel slavery. The scriptures say what? Ye shall be sold unto your enemy for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So when we look, when we look historically, because we had an older man up here that was a history major. When you look at his, historically, when you look at the global world events, no other nation went into hard bondage chattel slavery like we did. What other nation could you say went, went into slavery on slave ships and got stripped of the I identity? Because like I was saying earlier, you, you could bring any any other nation up here and like you ask a Chinese man, hey, what nation you from? He gonna say China. You ask an Arab man, hey, what nation you gonna say? He's gonna, from, he gonna say from the, the Middle East, right? Uh, uh, any a Caucasian man, he gonna say he ca he's from the Caucasus Mountains, Georgia, Russia. But the so-called blacks in America today, we have no clue that we're the Israelites. Did you ever know you were Israelite? This prophecy that we read in here, this hap what other people did this happen to when in the slavery on slave ships? Nobody else! That's us! Right. Go to verse 48 again. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He's going to put what? Listen to this part. He's going to put what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Look at this sign right here. Look at this right here. What's happening with this brother right here? What does he have on his neck? It, it said he shall put what? He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What other people have had yokes of iron on their neck piece? Bring it out. Well, can you name one nation of people that these things have happened to? Being destroyed, being taken away from the understanding of who their God is, who they truly are, their culture, all of that. And then going into slavery on slave ships and having yokes of iron on their neck. Right. Who else have you ever seen in history that this happened to? Right. Who, Reggie? On, what we're bringing out today is that you're an Israelite. That's you're not, yeah, you might be an earthling, you might live on earth. But what nation are you from? Right. Who are you? Who are the out. Israelites? Deuteronomy 10 and verse 12. So being an Israelite now, that we know that we're not niggas, right. we're not thots, right. we're not thugs, right. that we're Israelites. Right. To call yourself Israel, that w let's, get, let's get it in Genesis. What does it mean to call yourself an Israelite? And then we're gonna go to Deuteronomy 10 and Bring 12. That is a profound statement. There are 18 nations of people walking the earth to right now, this day. God has not done away with all the nations that we read about in the Bible. What we're going into is who you are, that you're an Israelite, and the importance of claiming your biblical identity. Right? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Let's go to Genesis 32 and verse 28. We're going we're gonna to pinpoint the definition of what it means to be an Israelite. And then we're going to get, we're going to expound just a little bit more into that, right, Reed? Right. The book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God. We have power with the God that, with the God that created the heavens and the earth. That's what it means, my sister, to be an Israelite. Because everybody walking the earth can't claim that identity to be an Israelite. God is not dealing with everybody like we think. That's He's right. not. Right. Because they teach you in church on Sunday, what do they say? Well, God loves everybody. Let's go to Psalms uh, uh, 147. God don't love everybody. Right. God's not dealing with everybody. God has not judged everybody, right? Get it. Bring it out. The book of Psalms. Chapter 147 and verse 19. He showed this word unto Jacob, his statutes and his commandments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He has not what? He has not dealt so with any nation. The Bible says God is not dealing with all nations. That's right. right, keep reading. And as for their judgments, they have not known them. They don't know God's judgments. 
like how you like how you confirm that you've never seen other nations going into hard bond and shadow slavery on slave ships how you confirm and both of y'all agree that you've never seen other nations with with iron yokes of iron on their neck right the bible said the ju those are judgments for breaking god's laws god is has not dealt out those judgments to all people we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.